us. So let's be together and enjoy this beautiful night. I come here for maybe like 30 years, every year. Always working, always yeah. with the hands inside the jewelry, yeah. Agatha Suleiman, they call it. I'm Turkish and ah. we are in India. We do uh, smoke meat. We use only mango wood or jackfruit wood. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. You'll have a good time. So come. These guys are Belarusians. They have been living here for nine years. So I'm working with Edison Blue's Carlson Company in Hayat also. And we coated with a uh, flour, egg and the breadcrumbs. People love falafel more already like falafel. It's improving the circulation of the blood. I'm an illustrator. This is all my work. Men for thousand, women one five. Oh, yeah. Hello everyone. And our great journey through India. We will start with the state of Goa. We will go to one cool fair called Hilltop. This fair is held once a year, and I was lucky enough to get into it on the first opening day. Here in this place we will meet a lot of cool and interesting guys, who present their products to us. You need to buy tickets to go to the festival. How much? 100 rupees a ticket. And you get a stamp. Thank you very much. Hilltop. Then we go to the security. They check you and we already go to the festival. And right at the entrance, there are a lot of souvenirs, jewelry, bracelets. From Goa? It's handmade, yes? Only the pushcar, I mean. Pushcar. Oh, you making this? Everything is made. Everything. Like this. also earrings, everything. Wow. What's the name of this stone? The name is Moonstone. Moonstone. There are also wallets and bags. Also, all handmade from the city of Pushkar. That's all from Rajasthan. All handmade. And the prices start from 200 rupees. I took one for myself. It costs 200 rupees. My husband is Belgian. We live in Goa and he makes wooden things. He started with toys made of local wood. Very unique, very exotic, unusual, very beautiful natural design. And he makes toys, decorations and various home decor with his own hands. And we sell them here on the market. So this is a bazaar, yes? This is the market, but I would say it's a fair. Every Friday uh, we have a concert, disco, food, food corner, handicraft, designer clothes. Can everyone come and open their point here and sell? However, not everyone is willing. There is a huge queue because there are too many applicants. And they select the most interesting in their opinion product. Can you say minimum and maximum price of products if not difficult? Jewelry or keychains from 450 rupees. There are also some collectibles, about 50 dollars. What is the most expensive thing you have here? I honestly don't know, because my husband, our chief, he sets the price. But I think that's from the series. Bamboo plane. Very beautiful. All wood is natural. There are natural colors. This is a tulip tree. Is this a natural color or painted? Natural. Nothing is painted here. It's a jackfruit, so it's yellow. Very beautiful. A small fair where you can also find a food court where you can listen to live music, buying clothes. Everything is also handmade. Souvenirs, paintings. I think it's a very cool place. We are now in the center of this bazaar. There are a lot of different points. You can also drink or eat here. This is a special bazaar. The people who make uh, special things, designers, not like uh, what you see in the everyday streets and this. We are gathering in that uh, market. Is it all handmade? Mostly handmade. Handmade or designed. Some people uh, make, uh, for example, clothes. They uh, buy the material and they send it here and then they stitch it here. So it's their own uh, design. Yeah, they don't just buy it and send it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this bazaar only work on Fridays? Only Fridays. When does the season start and end? Now start. Now start. Mm -hmm. End of October. And uh, finish in the April. Wow. So you're from India? No, I am. I live in Finland. 
half year and half year in India. But for many, many years. I come here for maybe like 30 years, every year. What's your name? My name is Yos. Y-O-S. Nice to meet you. Thank you for information. Thank you very much. Yo said that his teacher had dreadlocks for meters long. This is just unbelievable. Four meter dreadlocks. Can you imagine? Yos has been coming here every year for 30 years. I have heard many times that India attracts people. India is changing lives. Many European people coming here. They move here very often or they just come for the winter. Hello, uh, yeah, my name is Antonio, I'm Italian. I've been living here in Goa 26 years and this is my work. I uh, make stuff from natural materials. Shells, coconut, wood, corn, bone. You know, taking stuff from nature and then making jewelry with them, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, so we, we sell this here, you know, in the, in the market and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's very nice, it's very rewarding. Did you do it all by your hand? Yes, yes. Wow. The stuff I make myself and uh, all I make the model and then the workshop will make the rest. But sure, still always working, always yeah. with the hands inside the jewelry. What is your most special product? Uh, special for the moment, I think, is like this type of new collection that I've been doing here. And then some of these, like, uh, more of a more changing, a bit of a change, you know. But yeah, yeah, nice, you know. Again, nice to work with the nature. And what about the prices? How much does it start, and at what price? Oh yeah, look, uh, I don't want to be a museum, huh? <laughs> as well. But we have from about like 100 rupees to. Uh, Seven thousand rupees. These rings are made from coconut. How much? This one's one hundred rupees. Its price is one hundred rupees. Oh, sweet. And here you can also pay by phone with Paytm. Very beautiful item, and most of them are from coconut. Everything is handmade. Really cool. From Afghanistan, can I take? Is this the original color? Yes, yes, we do. You know, Latin Latin, you get only three mines in the world. One is in Chile, South America, one is in Russia, and one of Afghanistan is the number one because it's called the blue peacock, the blue nice. Wow. It's no way, only Afghan. The other, other is dark, it's um, different blue. Yeah. I got Suleiman, they call it. Suleiman, is he from Arabic country? Yes. Because, why Suleiman? Because, uh, you know, Suleiman is a prophet. No? Yeah. And you still love this stone. I go by logic, like, I never read the book, I don't know. Eh? Yeah. But why they call it Suleiman? Because I think Suleiman has such power. Stone. Let me see so many things. Yeah. This why the name. Yeah. Hello, my name is Pinkpong. What's your name? My name is Turo. What are you doing here with your little beautiful camera? I'm making a video about this interesting place. Since when are you in Goa? I've been in Goa for four days. You look fresh. Yeah, because... Look wonderful. Stay fresh. We love you. <laughs> we need you. people like you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, you can ask me what you want to ask me. I want to ask you, are you a singer? I'm an actor. I, go I play the singer. I'm not singer. I'm an what? actor. I want to know something about you, about your life. What about this music? Which kind of this music? The style of this music? African music. We yeah. play. We use African instruments. 
so African drums and African cowbells and we play basic rhythm from Africa. It's not African music, but the instrument is African and the feeling, the knowledge, basic. Yeah. Like roots, the roots of popular music is from Africa. Funk music, reggae music, Latin music, disco music is all based on African rhythm. So we use African instrument to make funk and disco and reggae and all this. Are you live in India? Do you perform in restaurants or bars? I'm coming to this place since 45 years. You understand? Yeah. 45 years. I'm an original hippie. Wow. From the first time the hippies come. I still live over there where we arrived half a century ago. Wow. Yeah. I'm an artist. I live half year. Half year I live in Germany because of a visa and mosquito. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah everybody yeah. likes that. Yeah. So half a year I'm a hippie here, and half a year I'm a hippie in Germany. Yeah. Good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I find another hippie here? You find me. Yeah, but... Uh, you find some young hippies, very yeah. few old. The old all die or go to sleep, or have enough money they go to Hawaii. Hawaii is better than here, yes? Yeah, it's more expensive and clean. You know I don't like clean and expensive, I love Goa. Oh, yeah. What you can say about this market? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a musician. Yeah. I don't need market. Are you coming here for the first time? No, the, the market first time is the first day this year. Uh -huh. But I come here, I know everybody. Yeah. I'm for half a century, 45 years, I know everybody. You, the stallholders, ourselves, and the whole universe. So let's be together and enjoy this beautiful night. Our band's name is Primal Beats, and I take the chance to. Uh, introduce the band on your very left on percussion. Please give a big hand to the beautiful Star Danny. Thank you. In the middle, in the center of the action, is the Sister Cook on percussion. Big hand to Sister Cook. My name is Ping Pong. I play the Ding Dong, just like a King Kong in a sing song for you. Please enjoy. Thank you. This is just an incredible group. The guys charge everyone with positive. Very cool, and especially instrument. He's playing right now. Very interesting. Can you say something about your food court? Hi, uh, yeah, it's a Burmese causeway. It's a curried noodles dish made out of coconut, uh, uh, coconut cream and chicken or vegetarian broth. And then it's topped with a bunch of condiments and you have your choice of mushroom, pro uh, tofu, chicken or prawn on top of it. It's my second year, it's lovely. And it's been, uh, we've all been looking forward to it. It's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's been. Uh, this is something we all look forward to. It's a sense of community. It has uh, family, entertainment, everything. You know, and it, it really works. It's a big change. What's your name? My name is Eddie. Eddie. Eddie's cousin. Oh yeah. It is written here. Thank you very much. Why not Indian kitchen? Hi. What you can say about your food court? North Indian food. Proper North, authentic North Indian food. This is in North India. Yeah. From which city? He's from uh, Delhi, Punjab, Haryana. Yeah, yeah. Punjab. Wow, this is really beautiful. Foreigners, people, is very like it. Yes, because for us it's something interesting. Yeah, something is very delicious and good for health. Do you cook yourself? Yes, I am a chef in W Hotel, is a Starwood brand. So I am working at Edison Lewis Carlson Company in Hayat also. I have degree also. I HM Dehradun in wow. Dehradun. This is Suvaki, but I'm Turkish and ah. we are in India. Okay, this is pork Suvaki, this is thank chicken Suvaki, you, enjoy it. And this is Greek way and this is Turkish way. It's like kebab? Yeah, shish kebab. Shish kebab. We call it shish kebab, but you know, people here they usually call it Suvaki. What you can say about this market? I love this market. I love this market, definitely. Is it your first time here? It's my second time. Second time. I was, I'm here since the beginning. Oh, it's good. Mama May is Thai kitchen. 
Hello. Can I shoot video? Wow. Can you say something about your food? It's Thai food? Thai food. This is all oh, my homemade. I make a homemade sauce. All the ingredients are homemade. And, uh, wow. Yeah, and we can clean. Actually, I wash everything with the drinking water. What you can say about this market? I love this market. It's lovely. It's cute. It's like a family, no? Yes, like one big family. Thank you very much. Here we have burrito boys, here they cooking burritos. Everything looks delicious too. Started last year, we do uh, smoked meat. We use only mango wood or jackfruit wood for uh, cooking of the meat. But it's uh, because it's smoking, it's got very low temperature, so it's very uh, slow cook. Like the chicken cook for about four hours. When we do pork, it's like eight, at least eight, probably more like 10 or 12 hours. Uh, if we do beef brisket, it's going to take 16 hours. Wow. It's very slow cook, but then you get the flavor of the, of the smoke really yes. imbues in. But then also I make all my own marinade, I make all my own barbecue sauce. Is, uh, so it's something you cannot get anywhere else. Where are you from? I'm originally from Canada, but I've been living in Goa five years. Yeah. So uh, we start our company, we open our little cafe in a few days in wow. Chipora. Yeah, I wish you good luck. What you can say about this market? Is it your first time here? No, it started uh, its first year, uh, or is it the second year? I started with them very first market last season. It was very good for us. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice atmosphere. It's not full of the package tours, you know? It's people who come here because they love the stuff that's, on, that's available. Wow. I get people who come here just to get my sandwiches. Yeah, it's good. Thank you very much. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Now we are selling like a fish and chips, fresh fish from the market. Every morning we... Is it fish? Yeah, it's a fish. It's a big fish fillet. We uh, make it in the parts, like yeah. a small fish fingers. And we coat it with a uh, flour, egg and the breadcrumbs, yeah. with some uh, spices in, for marination. Yeah. And chips and the tartar sauce, sauce made by a chef Fritz from Switzerland. Wow. How much is this one? Like 400 rupees. Uh, we will do the salad also, but the order without salad. So yeah. There is no salad. Hi, so uh, we are Bean Me Up. Bean Me Up is like one of the first uh, vegan plant based restaurants that started in uh, India and in Goa. And we try to source all our products locally. We try to use as much organic produce as possible and try to do a very ethical business. So if you're ever in Goa and if you're, please come by, Bean Me Up. That's it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. You'll have a good time. So come. The biggest advantage of the fair is that all people are very kind and responsive. There really is such an atmosphere here. It's like you came to a big family. There is no feeling that they want to sell you something. Here they really want to tell more about their product to give you a try. So people really want to share, not just sell their products to make money. This is very cool. It's a very warm atmosphere here. I want to come every year. and hummus, so much mushroom and like we invented new dishes like potato wedges and shakshuka sandwich. It's like you know people love falafel more already like falafel and we got like proper coffee machine here. Wow it looks very nice. Yeah and like we got like proper coffee a like cappuccino latte americano and cortado espresso and it's like you know uh, amazing coffee, people love it. Yeah. And that's why we call like Arjuna. So we got a cafe in Anjuna. Yeah. And yeah, that's all. And we got like nice pastries. We got our own bakery. We got our own bakery, like we got eclairs, cheesecake, croissants, 
that's amazing stuff we got. What do you have most special thing? Uh, we are specialists in coffee. Coffee? Yeah. It's number one? So this is the amazing. This is our main special thing, you know, we, which we have, which we draw people to us, is like, you know, with the coffee. Like, coffee is amazing. So and here is such a corner of clothing. You can also buy a belt bag here. Roots Original. These guys are Belarusians. They have been living here for nine years, but they decided to remain incognito, unfortunately. They say that these are handbags cost about $20. Natural leather. Everything is made here in India. T-shirts are about 1,500 rupees. There are also jackets. The cheapest thing is about $20. The most expensive is $50. Here, T-shirts, sweatshirts, bags and caps. The idea of the separate tour comes from China from Chinese acupuncture, because when you separate the big toe from the small toes, from the, the other four, it's improving the circulation of the blood. Except for this part, this is uh, good for walking, this is very uh, flexible, it feels like a socks with a sole. Yeah, that's what makes it so nice, and also it's very light. But in this case, we're talking about a very strong shoe, which you can dance with it all night. Yeah, it's very good for dancing, basically. Do you have some special shoes? They, these are special. What's the price? Oh, the price, okay. It's, uh, the price is between uh, in dollars or in rupees? Dollars. Dollars, yeah, okay. The price will be between 50 to 70. Is this handmade? No, 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 no. no. It's made by a machine. By machine. Very tight, very good. Lasts long time. Okay, what's your name? My name is Eyal. Where are you from? I'm from Israel. The shoe is from Japan. Wow, it's good. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Safran. Um, I'm an illustrator. This is all my work. I, I, I mainly use uh, watercolor and fine liner when I do the drawings. My themes are mainly animals, colors. I love nature. I was very inspired by India. Um, do you have gallery or shops here in Goa? You can get a haircut here at the fair. You can make yourself some kind of hairstyle. There are masters here. And in front of you, the master makes a hairstyle for one woman. Now find out the prices. What is the price? How much? Huh? How much? Uh, men for thousand, women one five. Okay. Thank you very much. What does this market mean to you? What do you feel? I'm not interested in market. We should make more love than market. But I understand many people need to make money and they want to be free. So they make jewelry, clothes, food, 
in their way, not controlled, free, and sell here. It's a hard life. I respect, but I don't need market. I never do market. I'm a clown. I'm a dancer. I love party, and market is no party. Yeah. Market is material. You know, I'm a non-material artist, but respect to the people who have to do it.